Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to set up discount codes in Shopify. And if you're new to this and you're not sure where to start, I'll be taking you through the entire process step by step. But if you wanna see a full review, I have a link down in the description. And if you don't already have Shopify, I also have a link for that that'll give you three days for free and then cost you a dollar for the first month after that, which is the best deal that's out there right now. Okay, so on the left side here on your dashboard, go down to discounts select it, and then click on create discount. Now there are four types of discount codes. There's amount off products, which is a sum of money or a percentage off of a specific item or a collection of products. Then there's buy X, get Y, which is anything like buy one, get the second one for free, buy two, get two for free, or maybe even buy one, get the second one at a discounted price. Then there's amount off order, which is a sum of money or a percentage off of the entire order. And the last one is free shipping. So I'm gonna be showing you guys the process with amount off order. So I'm gonna go ahead and select it right here. Okay, so now by the method, the discount code should already be selected, but if it's not, go ahead and select it. Now by the discount code, this is what people are going to use when checking out and applying the discount code. So fill in whatever you want people to use. For example, meet your 30. But if you're not feeling creative and you don't have any ideas, you can just go over here to generate random code and click it. And it'll give you something like this with random numbers and letters. But I'm gonna keep meet your 30. After that, we're gonna wanna set the discount value, which is basically how much are we reducing from the regular price. So it can either be a percentage, let's just say something like 15% or 50%, in my case, 30%. Or you can be reducing a fixed amount, like $50 off of the entire order or $25 and so on. But I'm gonna keep mine with a percentage at 30%. Then there's the minimum purchase requirements. Do you want your customers to spend X amount of money in order to get the discount code? Or maybe you want them to buy a certain amount of items before getting the discount. So there are three options. There's no minimum requirements. There's minimum purchase amount. So you want your customers to spend and let's just say $50 before getting the discount, or maybe $25. Or maybe you want them to buy a certain amount of items. If that's the case, then you could fill in, let's just say five items or seven items or whatever it is, maybe even 10 items. But I'm gonna keep mine with no minimum requirements since it is a welcome code and I want new customers to come shop at my store. You know, when there's a discount, sometimes that is a good catch to get people to come. After that, there's customer eligibility. So who does this discount code apply for? Is it for all customers? Is it for a specific group of customers? If so, go ahead and click on specific customer segments and then click on browse. So there are five different type of customer groups. There's customers who haven't purchased, which is great in my case. So I wanna give this discount code to customers who've never been to my store. I wanna get new customers. Then there's customers who have purchased more than once, which is a great way to encourage those customers who've bought from your store to come back because we really like these customers to come back because without them, we wouldn't really have much of a business. Then there's abandoned checkouts in the last 30 days, which is for anyone who's been to your store, added things to their cart and forgot about them for whatever reason because they got busy or distracted, but they were really close to purchasing. And so if you give them that extra push, it might turn into a sale. So might be a good idea to give them a discount or email subscribers because giving your loyal and happy customers a discount can always be a great idea. And why not? And the last one is customers who have purchased at least once and you wanna give them a discount. So I'm gonna go ahead and select customers who haven't purchased and then click on add. Next is maximum discount uses. How many times do you want your customers to be able to use your discount code? Now, if you don't set it, it'll automatically be applied as no maximum uses. So just be aware of that. So if you wanna limit the amount of times that they can use it, go ahead and check it off and fill in the amount of times that they can use it. If it's three times or only two times or whatever it is, or maybe you wanna set it to a one use per customer, which that is in my case, because I want them to use it one time for a welcome code. But I just wanna point out that I'm gonna talk about this in a second, um, but you can also give them a discount code for one week. Like you wanna give them a one week sale where they can use this discount code, or you know, you could give them a certain amount of times they can use it. But I just want you guys to be aware of that. I'll talk about it in a second. 
The next thing that you're gonna wanna set is the combination. So if you have more than one discount going on at the same time and you want your customers to be able to use more than one discount, you're gonna wanna select that right here and check it off. But I don't have any other discounts going on, so I'm not gonna check any of these off. And so then there's active dates. Here's a starting date and a starting time when you wanna start your sale. And you can also set an end date. Like I was saying before, you could have a one week long sale or for one month, but I'm not gonna set this. So once you're done, go to the top and click on save. So now if you wanna see how it works, go to your store, shop all, add a product, add it to the cart, check out. And then here you're gonna apply the discount code. So mine's Meera30, apply, and there's $12 off of the order which is $28. So that is how to set up discount codes on Shopify. I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And if you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe to see more videos like this one. And again, if you wanna see a full review, I have a link down in the description. And if you don't already have Shopify, I also have a link for that that'll give you three days for free and then only cost you a dollar for the first month after that, which is the best deal that's out there right now. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.